Hey everybody, we are back today, day 21 of Mass Make March 2023. Today we're going to tackle CD envelopes or envelopes, depending on where you're from, however you want to say it. I say envelopes. Um, so yeah, we're going to tackle CD envelopes today. Um, if you're not familiar with what those are, they're basically envelopes that a CD tucks in and they have a clear acetate um, see-through cover that you can play around with. And let me first apologize, my laundry's going in the background, so <laughs> my, um, my washer's not the quietest, so I apologize for that up front. Um, so yeah, CD envelopes. So... I, um, I haven't done much with these before. Um, I've tried to play around with them a little bit, but haven't been very successful in, in tackling them. So here's, here's some of the stuff that I've done. I, I say this like there's a lot to look at. Here are four of them that I have um, coffee dyed. And I love the look of it, but I, I'll i be honest, I don't know how well my integrity is uh, because they soaked in coffee dye. So um, I don't know. They seem to be pretty, still pretty glued. You can actually, some of them you can see the glue line on. Um, so I will use these, but I won't use these as shaker cards. <laughs> um, I won't create shaker cards out of them because I'm afraid that they're not sealed 100% because, like I said, they've basically soaked in coffee dye. But I think the color is pretty, for sure. So, um, so we can do something with them, just not, just not going to do some shakers with them. And then I have a stack of the regular white ones. Um, so, uh, let's get started. Um, I really don't have much of an idea or a thought process on this. Um, I've got some pages from that um, art book I was mentioning before. It's full of different interesting images. <laughs> um, so yeah, I, I thought I would play around with that first and just see where we get with that. Um, I have watched Cindy's video for today um, for her CD envelope making. Um, and I hope to not be as, you know, be so clunky with this um, because I just, I'm, I'm horrible at measuring, as you know. And um, so I'm just going to kind of eyeball this and um, see what what happens and if nothing happens then nothing happens and if something cool comes of it then something cool becomes of it um, it's kind of the it's kind of my theory and my thought process right now um, I am planning to because it's so kind of fancy and cool not that I will think I will ever use a space shuttle <laughs> in a journal, but um, I thought this would be a fun shaker card, and I wanted to use the stars that my friend Jen sent me. Um, I thought that would be fun little shakies in this thing. So, um, I have no idea what I'm going to do about the outside of it, to decorate the outside of it. I may just leave it blank for right now until something comes up that tends to work um, for now I just want to make a shaky with the spaceship and the stars I don't I don't know why I just think it'll work <laughs> I just think it'll be cute um, and then we'll just figure out around what you know what to do with the rest of it um, yeah and it, it already pretty much lends itself to doing any journaling on the back because it is um, Plain white so um, I'm trying to decide if I, um, if you watch Cindy's movie she was back and forth uh, talking about you know carefully gluing in your images here so they didn't 
go anywhere, but then she kind of discovered that, well, really, they're not going to go anywhere, especially if you're going to seal them. But my concern was that the shakers would get behind the image and disappear because, you know, shakers like to do that. Shaky things like to disappear and escape and all that good stuff. And so I'm not going to majorly glue, but I'm going to put a little bit of glue. So hopefully that'll kind of stick it to that back end, to the back of the envelope and um, keep my shakies all up front, hopefully. So let us see here. I have a feeling I'm going to have stars everywhere. I probably will need to repackage these somehow in a little pill bottle or container or something. I think I'm not even going to try to pour. I think I'm going to pinch and, and tuck them in like that. Just a little pinch at a time, maybe. Maybe. Because <laughs> I want the... This bag has big stars and little stars in it, and I want both. I want a little bit of both. These are like, these are sequins, but they're going to be like glitter and be everywhere and stick and static to everything, I'm sure. And I will, I will try not to curse Jen every time I come across one. Mainly because I love them. I think they're cute. Oh my goodness. That's exactly what I was thinking. I like the little bitty ones in there. Um, for sure, for sure. So I'm going to seal this up. First off, I'm going to control these guys. And then I could put just some regular glitter in there. The image has like confetti. Um, little confetti sprinkles on it. I think I'll just not. I think I'll just keep it with the stars and um, do that. I think so. Let me get my glue book out here. I piled all this other stuff here that I was, that I've got out to work with. Got it all piled on my glue book. I just gouged my glue stick. So there is that. And I think I'm gonna find a um, a blank page to to cover this up and, and make me some journal spots. I think I'm gonna do that. Um, I don't have any handy at the moment, but we're gonna we're gonna get these, knock these few out, and then if we have time to play, we'll we'll work on embellishing a little bit more. Um, so, let's see here. I thought that was the cutest little image. Um, and then this little typewriter guy. I would like to be able to capture all of the typewriter. <laughs> even if he comes across crooked. Let's just see what we created here. Not too shabby, not too shabby. I think I'm going to trim a little bit off the top, though. And I think I'm going to make a shaker card out of this. And I think, um, again, I don't know what I'm going to do to decorate the outside, but I think for my shakers, how cute is that? This was a Hobby Lobby clearance. Um, and I don't have anything handy to put these in, so we'll just have to be careful with them for a minute. Um, but they're a little polymer clay. 
pour some out in my hand here. Little envelopes. And that's quite cute considering the typewriter. Oh, come on, lay down. They want to stand up. I guess it's the static in there. I don't know if you guys can see that. They want to stand up in there, but um, yeah, we're, we'll just uh, work with that. I think I'm going to put a few more in there, though. You know, the letters, the typewriter's typing a letter. How cute is that? I think it's rather cute, personally. Again, I, I guess it's kind of the same thing with the space shuttle. I don't know where these will ever incorporate into a journal. I, I think that's why I'm not too stressed about finishing them out. Um... You know, because I don't, I don't know where they're going to end up. And so, um, gosh, that's cute. Um, I'll finish them out whenever they find their final resting place. <laughs> um, here's the kitty cat we could do. And then there's this guy. And this crazy... Let me see my shakers, see if I had anything else that's kind of. So again, I'm, I may just be doing some shaker cards and um, creating them for, <laughs> for Happy Mail because I may not ever use these guys in anything. But they're fun to create with. And I can at least get, you know, like a base going on with them. And who knows what what becomes of it after that. and weird um, and I think I'm gonna do this this colorful glitter in this maybe oh that does not look good at all I'm gonna have glitter everywhere I'm just telling you now And of course, the static in this is going to make it all stick and stay where it wants to. That seemed like a lot, but it needs to be trimmed down a little bit. So my envelope will fold. I've got glitter everywhere already. So when the other day when we did shaker cards, I was gonna play with the, these initially when I started gathering stuff for this list. I thought, oh, I've got those CD envelopes that would make great shaker cards. But then, um, then I noticed that CD envelopes was on the list, and so I was like, oh, well, I guess I better save my CD envelopes for my CD envelope day. So that's what I did. Now, um, I was kind of thinking I would get, like, the sugar cards out of the way. These, I'm kind of thinking I want to do on the coffee dyed ones. Yeah, and so we'll do two more like this. I wonder if I can get, I can get two out of this. Let's trim this down. So we really needed to do that, but let's see here. I think I can. 
Of course, they're not going to get the whole alphabet. So, you know, it's it goes back to the whole debating on what image you want to use. Because I'm not going to be able to get the whole alphabet, of course. Um, so, do I should I have saved this to do... Another part of the alphabet. Now this guy, since he is a little shorter, I'm gonna glue him in because um, because he's, well, this one, he was shorter and he was starting to show on the other side. Um, I don't think if I do it the other way. Yeah, I think, I think I'll still see him cutting up, coming up short. So I'm gonna have to glue him in, so that's okay. Um, we'll just tuck him in. I'm gonna have to glue him in so he'll stay to where he's in, in frame. That's the price that we're gonna have to pay to be able to do two of these ABC cards. And then, yeah, that's cute. So what I'm gonna do is pull this out and trim it. And then I'm gonna give him some glue on the back side. Not a whole lot, just enough to make him stay. And I think this image on images on the back I should have kept because they're little girls, they're so cute. A little astronaut, a little scientist, a gymnast, a cowgirl. Oh, the price we pay. I'm going to scoot these around to where I can get a good image in there. Smoosh it down real good. And um, let me put the other one in here. And then we'll decide if we want to... What shaker we want to do in these. Those are so cute. Cute little image. So pull him out, trim him up. I'm gonna put a little glue on him just in case. Not a lot though. Let's see here. Oh, this is on the sides. So that's on the side as well. Make sure our image is in there good. Okay, so we have two of these guys. So what kind of shaker do I want to put in it? Not that I have a whole lot to choose from. Um, we're going to have our traditional glitter. And blue glitter. Oh, I've got this blue stuff. This would be kind of cute. Um, I think this is baby boy confetti. But it's got, you know, little, it's a boys in it, but it's got some cute, ah, and it's everywhere. So let's do this real quick. And they gave this to me, so that's why it's just not, it's it's just kind of there. <laughs> it's not, um, I haven't done anything with it since. Meaning they gave it to me all wadded up like this, and so. find a little bag for that guy. So we got two shaker cards, shaky stuff that we need to organize and straighten up and get straight, get situated. Okay. And we're going to glue these guys. Sorry, my glue book is off camera, but 
I'm just glue sticking the tab here and I'm gluing them closed. And again, like I said, I'm gonna come back through and do um, some sort of plain paper or painted paper on the backs of these as a um, journaling spot. So you have a smooth surface instead of all these edges and that'll also again double seal us for um, for that. Okay, next one is, get all that glitter off here. This is a little cat image. And I think it's a cute cat. But if you look closely, this is an art print. That appears to be Mickey Mouse. <laughs> I think it's a cute little image for sure. Um, I would like to not include the Mickey Mouse remains, if at all possible. So we're going to try to, I mean, I, again, I think it's a cute piece. The cat's just like chilling like, yeah, so I ate Mickey Mouse. But <laughs> I'd rather not have Mickey Mouse remains if we can avoid it. I'm, I'm thinking, oh, I've got that blue glitter everywhere. I'm thinking, thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking that it's possible that we can avoid it we will just have to see how he tucks in and it may be something that he may shine through a little bit but we can always add something to cover that up um i don't have to have the whole cat in there but i want like the whole the, like this is my focus here, the cat's face. Oh, come on. Yeah, that's cute. So, there's not a lot of Mickey left here. That's okay. Um, we can work with that. Um, as far as his shaky bits... Um, again, I don't have a whole lot to work with because I'm new to shaker cards. Um, um, bum, 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 bum. I'm just trying to decide what I want him to look like. I'm, I'm kind of leaning towards like a gold. Um, because he has... Um, the brown on him. I don't have a black. I have this guy, which is like an iridescent. Yeah, let's try this gold. Oof. And this is just plain glitter, so... Cute. It's course is going to static to the acetate. That's okay. That is A-OK. -okay. We don't mind. Cute. Okay, I'm going to glue him off, off camera because my glue book's way over here. And I'm going to make sure I glue this guy because this legit glitter in here. This ain't no sequins or chunky glitter. This is like glitter glitter that's that's destined to go everywhere and anywhere. So, let's see here. Where are we at? Um, let's create with these coffee dyed ones. Um, again, I'm not going to do shakers with these because I, I'm not 100% sure of the integrity. So, these are just going to kind of be like windowed, um, journal cards, flip cards, things of that nature. Um, it's kind of my, my thought process. Um, it's, got, it's got some interactive crunchiness to it. That's pretty cool. Um, these would be cute shaker cards. The, 
the brown would be for sure. But again, I'm just kind of nervous because of the of the way he um, he soaked in coffee for a while. So we're just gonna kind of make some crunchy. the back of it. And then got this one. I love this image. I, I uh, When I flipped through this book and was pulling out pictures and all that, it was funny because I would find a really pretty image. I'd be like, oh, I love that. And then it would be, ha it would have something like really weird off to the side. And I'd be like, oh, <laughs> Because, again, all these images are really, they're just different. So, I, I kind of have to look twice at them. It's like, make sure I'm not putting anything offensive or using anything offensive. Um, you know, I don't think so. Because these are all student art. But, again, some of them are kind of like, whoa, wait a minute. That's not a landscape. That's a, actually a, you know, there'll be something else going on there in that picture. So, Kind of nervous about it. it makes me think twice about you know makes me have to look look twice when I select an image trim him down oh yeah I think that's pretty and trim him down I guess on the top I put out the moon and the bats but that's okay See, see how, I don't know if you can tell this or not, but my acetates come apart from the envelope. And so, that's why I didn't want to, I didn't want to put glitter and all that in there. So, let's see if we can repair this guy a little bit. And then, gently... Tuck in the image. That's cute. It would be cute to put some stars in that because it is kind of a nighttime scene. I'm just so nervous because <laughs> of the. Like I said, because these have been soaked, so I will not, and maybe whenever I decide to use this, I might change my mind and give it a little bit more integrity and make sure I'm sealed completely and all that good stuff. And then this one, I can't decide on this one. I kind of like the two people there in the house image and all that, but I also kind of like this. But maybe I'll wait on this because, yeah, I'll wait on him. We'll, we'll skip to this little girl here. Again, the little girl with books. They get me every time. I have a feeling this there's something more to this story, but um, because there's there's these guys in the background. I don't know if they're villains or I don't know, but. have some ideas to decorate with this one. Oh, and I actually have some ideas to decorate with this as well. Okay, okay, okay. We're all in the library. I'm going to put that in my scraps because that's kind of cool. And so, let's see here. I have somewhere. So let's see here. This is little snippets that has a 
just had a thought process or a thought. Um, okay. Um, bum, 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 bum. These little snippets are some books. I think they're going to be too big. I need to organize my snippets. <laughs> so if we can decorate with these guys. Although it's, I'm kind of compelled to do like a um, more along a letter instead of a. This is like a book page. aside and see what the other one has. I think this one's all flowers. Outdoor stuff. Maybe I can find something for my my um, outdoor scene. <laughs> Again, I need to organize my snippets and stickers and things of that nature. I think we all do, though, right? Don't we all need to do that? And then here is another bucket. I think this is the one that has what I'm looking for as far as, yeah, like, this has like um, book edges. Okay, I've got too much going on here. <laughs> Let me just pick out a few. Um... snippets for each and then we'll see what we can do with them. I was kind of looking to see if there's anything that goes along with these other guys. Um, you know, in the white envelopes, those are mostly not vintage. <laughs> um, But the uh, these brown envelopes, you can play vintage with them. Um, and most of my stickers, I'm getting all this to say, most of my stickers are vintage -y type looking. But it's not to say we can't find something. Also florist, that doesn't go with anything. There's a roulette thing. Okay, let's see here. Nothing that goes with the cat. Nothing that goes with the uh, wild and crazy thing. Um... Nothing that really goes with the typewriter because again, we're typing a letter. This looks like a game board, a game card. Um, you know, the duck. That's a written letter. There's some ABCs.
don't really have anything that goes along with a cat, unless we did something like fancy. Like a fancy cat, but... Yeah. <laughs> That's the... The beauty of... Oh, there's some fish the cat. That's not too bad. And maybe we can do a fish down here to cover up the Mickey. <laughs> the Mickey the Mickey pieces. Let's see here. I was looking for Um, I don't know. I guess there's some tickets. We can do tickets. That'd be cute. Goodness. Okay. Um, I could spend all day doing that. Okay, I also have word snippets as well that we can play with. Add some words to a few of these. Okay. Where am I at? Okay, I'm okay on time. So, let's back up and regroup here. Um, this, I think the tickets are cute on this. So, let's... with that. I believe these are stickers. Age old question. Is this a sticker or it is a sticker so now the trick is getting it off of the plastic. I love washi stickers, but they like to curl up. Now, this ticket says theater, but, you know, I really don't care. We're, we're using it as game tickets. Although, I do have some game tickets. That we could have used. Like some real tickets and glued them on there. But we didn't, and that's okay. Um, let's see here. I feel like I've got a few things going on at once here, but that's okay. Let's just, yep, yeah, that's what I was looking for. An admission sticker. quit playing with that one. <laughs> so let's see here with these guys. Um, again, we're trying to figure out if this, I feel for sure these are stickers, but the trick is getting them off this paper. Not a huge fan of that white, but that's okay. We're gonna work with it. Oh, let's see. Um, the darkling, darkening violet sky. I'm looking at my word snippets. A winding garden path. Oh, come on, sticker. I 
under the wide and starry sky. Okay, and then the sky. These are all like books. I thought it would be cute to. It's a duplicate. Just stack up some books here. Is that too many? I think we're going to go with it. <clears throat> no, why not? You can't have too many books, right? Soil. That's okay. I have an idea to do a journal called Lost in the Library. And it would have, of course, have books as my theme. Something like this would be cute. Scooted that one up a little bit more, but oh well. Oh well. And of course, I have plenty of these stickers, so whenever I decide what to do with the back, I can accent with them or whatever. Come on. You're about to. Win yourself a trip back to the sticker bucket, mister. There you go. <laughs> Just threaten them. They'll come free. They want to be used as well. They don't want to be in the sticker bucket forever. Kind of goes on her face, but that's okay. Oh, I was going to find a little quote for her. And then we gotta decide on this. I could just use one of these stickers. It's like a wax seal. And um I'm contradicted here. <laughs> I probably should use a little snippet of handwriting, but it's not handwriting if you're using your typewriter. And your typewriter is is writing a letter because there's your little envelopes. <laughs> but this is a book page, but that is a wax seal that goes along with the letter. Oh goodness. I'm thinking too much about it. Okay. Um, so we have this here. Book number three. And then... She remembered it was something precious. may have to glue that down. Yep. She wants to be glued down. Strip of glue. Nice and messy. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, so there's that. And then this guy, we decided that we did want to do this. And you know what I think? Now that I think, I think, I think. In my stash somewhere. This is my big sticker stash. I think towards the bottom. Aha. I thought I did. Had some koi fish. <clears throat> you know, because cat likes cats like fish, and we decided we're gonna do this so we can perfect, perfect, perfect. Everybody says, "Why do you need all that stuff?" Why do you? Because there comes a time when I need that perfect. Who would have ever thought I would need koi fish stickers? I'm gonna scoot this over towards the edge. I'm debating on covering up that. I'm gonna fold it over. Yeah, who ever thought you'd use koi fish? But look, we are using koi fish. Covered up Mickey per se. <laughs> and I actually can do a few more. We can get all kinds of crazy with koi fish. And we can do the decorating on the back with that as well. Okay, did I catch everybody? Oh, I was looking for a I'm gonna put I'm not gonna put anything on the outside um, on the white part but this little sticker says imagination I'm gonna put it on the acetate okay um, so I'm kind of looking real quick um, Good fortune for the, the uh, cat. Um, I was looking for something to go along with. Go along with. We can imagine. Okay. I think we'll call that done. Okay. So here's what we have. Gather them all up here. And of course, not they're not all finished, but um, we got some bases done. And it'll be easy for me to go through and add some journal paste, space, things like that um, when I get time, when I get to where I'm going to use them. So, we did, let's see here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 CD envelopes. Um, they're all sealed, so they'll be tucked in a journal or glued in a journal, you know, um, not really use as flip outs or tip outs because of the way I've sealed them. So we've got our number one with our envelopes, the typewriter envelopes. We've got the duck game with your admission tickets. This is not a shaky. We got the good fortune kitty cat with the koi fish. We got the crazy imagination one. We got this girl in the library with the books. It's not a shaky because it's the natural. We got these two that are shakies. With the blue shaky. 
this one, which is probably my favorite, <laughs> with the star shakies in it. Um, and then this one's not a shaky with the Outdoor Woods Imagine. So yeah, I'm pretty pleased with those. That's a pretty good make for um, CD envelopes. Day 21 of Mass Make March 2023. This challenge is hosted by Cindy at Studio Lou. Um, hopefully by now you guys are following along with her. Seeing what all she's making as well. And um, yeah. So that's all I've got for this one. Um, we will be back tomorrow with washi tape. I have a crazy hoard of washi tape. And I don't know why. I mean, I use it. Don't get me wrong. I use it. But, you know, it's like one of those things. Like, how do I end up with all this stuff? Um, <laughs> so, I have quite a collection of washi tape. And I haven't, I had an idea of what I was going to do with washi tape for this prompt. But then, I watched a YouTube video the other night. And somebody was showing me something else that they did with washi tape. And so, I've kind of got to, I'm backing up and regrouping and trying to decide what I want to do for tomorrow. Um, but I'll figure it out. So, anyways, um, we will see you guys tomorrow for washi tape. Thanks again for joining and following along with the Mass Make March 2023. Hopefully, if you're creating along with this challenge, you're adding your hashtag Mass Make March 2023 to all your socials, your videos, Instagram pics, all that good stuff. So, anyways, I will see you guys tomorrow.